postdoc and uh, did, uh, worked as a scientist in uh, Sankara Netralia, and then worked in Spinco Biotech, and then uh, site genomics, and currently in uh, Med Genome. Uh, and he's going to talk today about uh, genetics of uh, foveal hyperplasia. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is uh, a very small, small talk, uh, and just to showcase how good small collaborations between clinicians and uh, whether private or uh, uh, public laboratories can give uh, give insights into biology. So uh, I'll talk on on a, on a disease, on a very very rare uh, eye disease called foveal hyperplasia. So just before going that, uh, med genome is a uh, uh, one of the major commercial activity of med genome is uh, in all doing all the genetic diagnostics for all sorts of genetic diseases in the country. And during the course of this, we come across several situations where we don't find answers or we don't find uh, conclusive results for various uh, tests. And uh, several occasions where the clinicians or the patients ask for further investigations to find some solutions into that. Why didn't we get it? Why can't can we do something on an investigative basis? So some of the situations, depending on the resources we have, whether it's financial or human resource, uh, we have, we, we try to selectively take some of the collaborations forward and try to understand what is the genetic basis for the particular disease. So this is one study uh, where uh, there was a significant uh, amount of uh, uh, collaboration that happened with uh, one of the Bangalore-based uh, eye hospital called Narayan Australia and some of the groups from UK and Europe and Australia. Uh, so, so, so fovea. So, just to give you an outline, uh, the, the posterior part of the retina, uh, posterior part of the eye is called retina. I mean, within the retina, the pigmented part, the central portion, is called as macula. And within macula, the central part is called as a fovea. And fovea has got the highest concentration of cones, and it has the maximum visual acuity. So, uh, anybody has any problems with the fovea, they have problems in reading detailed things or looking at television or doing something which is concerned with the cones. So foveal hyperplasia is a kind of a, a disease which usually, for, so, so just before going that, it's the, most of the retinal diseases are very heterogeneous. So you can see there are about more than 220 or 230 genes identified for different sorts of retinal diseases and still many of them have to be mapped. We do not know what gene is. So foveal, foveal hyperplasia is a, is a problem with retina. So it's, a, it's basically a developmental defect and uh, uh, usually accompanied by some of the anterior segment problems like anaridia or uh, coloboma or a cataract, achromatasia uh, or retinopathy of prematurity. But one thing which is very interesting is that this is always associated with the optic nerve misrouting. It's a kind of a deformity in the eye in the developmental problem in cases with only with ocular albinism or oculocutaneous albinism. So whenever foveal hyperplasia is there, along with optical optic nerve misrouting, it's always seen in oculocutaneous albinism or ocular albinism. So which indicates and has been proven by identification of many genes that the pigmentation plays a critical role in this development. And there are several genes which have been identified uh, which play a critical role in the whole of melanin biosynthesis which have been uh, I am associated with this particular phenotype along with optic nerve misrouting and oculocutaneous albinism. So this is a fundus photograph of the retina. Uh, this is a normal retina. This is, uh, I'm not very sure because I'm not a clinician, but what I can understand is the central part of the fovea uh, usually doesn't have any vascularity, no blood vessels will there. But in this developmental defect, you get vascularity also. So these, these two fundus, A and B, are of the affected patients with foveal hyperplasia. There is this different segment uh, recently identified, maybe about two years back. It's called so foveal hyperplasia optic nerve weaker station. That's the same optic nerve misroot defects. With anterior segment dysgenesis, that's a front portion of the eye doesn't develop properly. Either they have cataract or coloboma or something like that. Which all these are there in the previously what I described, except the albinism. So these people, these patients who have this disease, do not have albinism. They have pigment in the retina, but all other things will be there. So they, they, it's a slightly, so Omin describes the first one as foveal hyperplasia type 1, and this one as a foveal hyperplasia type 2. 
So as I said, individuals with Fonda syndrome all have poorly defined uh, avascular zones. They have a lot of vascularity, absent or abnormal foveal reflexes. Uh, so foveal shows a dip usually the depression when you do by optical co coherence tomography. Consistent with the diagnosis of foveal hyperplasia, but the only difference is they do not display any pigmentation defects in the foveal. So it's a slightly a different phenotypic variant of the first disease which I've described. So at some point of time when we were doing it all, we, we, we interacted over this paper, a nice paper published in the journal I from Narayan Mitralaya's group from uh, Dr. Shetty. Uh, so they have described this. So for the, the, this, is a, this is a familial case.